Well, hey there, everybody. Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we have a mil-spec monkey bag. This is the second one we reviewed here at the channel. You know, recently we did the Adapt Pack. Love that pack. And uh, they have really sold out on those and just people love the Adapt Pack that Mil-Spec Monkey has produced. So they wanted to kind of stay, take it a step further, make a larger bag with that same kind of idea, but adding a lot of more organization, uh, as well as adding a beaver tail. So we're looking at the Boss Beaver bag from Mil-Spec Monkey in collaboration with Tactical Tailor. So today we're gonna look at the ins and outs of this bag, show it to you in action. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to decide whether or not this bag is gonna be a great purchase purchase for you. So with that being said, let's start looking at the Boss Beaver from Millspec Monkey. All right, so let's go ahead and look at a few specs here on this pack. Now, uh, to my knowledge, this is made out of 500 denier nylon. That's what the adapt pack was. I'll contate it in if it's not, but to my recollection, it, it's 500 denier, which is my favorite. I really prefer that over a thousand. Now it's USA made, and that's gonna affect the price point. This is gonna run you 215, 215 bucks. So I know that for some people, immediately that eliminates you know, your interest in the bag, totally get that. It's USA made though. Um, and I've looked around at other you know, foreign produced bags of similar setups and you're, they're pushing about 180. So uh, for a US made quality, you get what you pay for. So uh, with the price point, that's what the price point is. Now for the dimensions here on this bag, what we're looking at is 18 inches from top to bottom. I like that length, that's a good length. 11 inches wide. And then for my measurements, when the beaver tail is compressed from back to front or front to back, uh, it's 10 inches wide. So those are uh, some of the basic specs for you here on this Boss Beaver bag. All right, so I wanna show you the two pockets that they've put here on the beaver tail portion of the pack. And what we have first off is just a single zipper, runs horizontal into a huge dump pouch. Very, very large. I have two sets of gloves in there. You can see very big large mouth, I could easily fit a full-size pistol, obviously lots of other things that you might wanna put in there. No organization inside that, but very large compartment that will hold a lot of items, including my two gloves, then I'm gonna zip that back up. Then they're giving you two zippers here that run the entire length of this whole beaver tail, and this opens up into the clamshell design, and this has a ton of organization. I'm really liking what I see here with this pack, adding a lot of organization over what they've done originally with the Adapt Pack. You know, this is the second one that they've produced. So you got lots of different pouches over here. I got my Leatherman tool, I got my rain cover for the jacket, I mean, uh, for the pack. Then I got another sleeve in here. I got some larger pouches here that I could put flashlights and things like that and pen sleeves over here. So lots and lots of organization inside uh, the beaver tail pockets that they've given you here on this pack. All right, so one of the main features that really sets us apart is the beaver tails. For some of you, you're like, what's a beaver tail? Now we just looked at the big compartment back here and what we have is this storage area right in here. Now, when it's compressed with all the six attachments all the way around being compressed in, it makes the pack pretty slim and it just gives you kind of a, a narrow sleeve that you can get a lot of stuff in. Right now I have my Cold Steel Spetsnaz uh, Special Forces shovel. I mean, this is a, a big shovel. I just stuffed it down in there. It's really nice and secure. I got my rain jacket in here. So there, I'm able to get a couple items really nice and secure in there. And what you're able to do is if you want to open up this beaver tail and make it a lot wider, you're able to get a huge amount of storage. So all I did was loosen up the attachments and then stretch out these two. And again, these can be unattached here. And now I have this ginormous compartment. It's over 10 inches uh, from back to front and I'm able to get a ton of gear in there. It's originally designed for helmets, uh, military helmets, motorcycle helmets, firefighter helmets, you name it. You can fit it and stuff it in there. Then you just kind of cinch it down a little bit. You're good to go. So you're not having that helmet, you know, fluttering all over the place and, you know, bouncing and bu uh, bumping off of stuff. So that's just an awesome feature to have. But I thought about this as well. Think of this as in a bug out bag situation. You're, you know, you're uh, traveling. This is all nice and compressed, pretty slim. You maybe have one or two items. Then you run into a big stash of maybe medical supplies, food, ammo, whatever. Then you're able to un 
latch all of those items and open this sucker up, now you can throw a, a, a ton of gear into this dump area or a ton, ton of supplies and take it with you, take it to your location that you're you know bunkered down for a while, whatever you're doing, and it really works to your advantage, not only again for military use and you know putting helmets in there or if you're a motorcyclist or something like that, uh, but also for those of you looking for a good bug out bag that gives you the option to carry a lot more gear uh, if you need to or a lot more supplies if you need to. So uh, again, I think this is a great feature and it again just you know clamps all down, cinches all down or you loosen it all up and you have this huge compartment. So great feature I think this beaver tail system. Now if you remember on the adapt pack there is a vertical pocket that they have offered and this is the same with this particular pack as well. You're going to get two zippers in there with a huge wall of Velcro designed to carry CCWs or other um, items that you may want to put in there that have maybe organization um, organizers that have Velcro backs so you could attach those in there. I happen to have two fixed blades, actually three fixed blades that I'm reviewing right now and you can unzip it on the other side and it's just a flow through all the way. So either side will give you full access to that pouch and I like that for kind of slim tall items. It's really perfect to do that and put that in there or again your pistol if you did want to conceal carry your firearm inside the pack and not on your body. This bag offers that very easily and very quick access to your firearm. <laughs> Let me show you the molly here on this pack. Now I, I really think that they've done this well in that they haven't done overkill. They've given it right where you need it and nowhere that you don't. On either side they're going to give you uh, four by three on the molly so you could easily attach you know magazine pouches, water bottle sleeves, those type of things that you would want right there, medical kits, and they're going to give that on either side of the pack so that's really nice. Then along the back beaver tail right here, huge stage of molly that you could do smaller items. Now it's a pretty wide pack so you wouldn't want to be doing tons of stuff on here but you know you again magazine pouches, medical kits, those type of things you could easily molly on there and then finally on the bottom this is a big plus as well two stages right there that you could easily weave like your bed roll, a tarp, a tent, those type of things on the bottom as well. So great locations for the molly, great setup for exactly the things that you would want and nothing that you wouldn't. All right, a few other features on the bag is that you get that real nice handle grip right there so you can, you know, move it from your car to other locations or, you know, just carry it around without having to put it over your shoulder. Very good stitched, again, box weaved. U.S. quality tactical tailor right there in collaboration with Millspec Monkey. Tactical tailor does fan phenomenal, fantastic stuff. Then on either side here, you're going to get this little Velcroed hole, and that is a little hole that goes inside the main compartment here, and uh, that is going to be for either uh, radio antenna, if you're rocking a radio, uh, and, you know, a large radio set. Uh, or if you did want to put the bladder for some reason inside and you wanted to run a hose or other material out, you could easily do that. But if you're not, they just Velcro away and are out of the way. All right, so I just want to show you now the straps on me. Now we've kind of shown it to you off of me, just to kind of give you some size perspective. Got the real nice sternum strap there. Again, that real nice little Velcro tab will roll up all the spare, and I have a lot to spare there. And again, I can reach this up or down. And I'm a pretty big guy, 6'2", got a large torso, I'm about 215. So, um, you know, definitely got some size on me, and it's fitting great, fits really well. The belly strap, you can see, is pretty high. That's the one thing. For me, I don't really use the belly strap. It goes right over my belly button. Basically, my belly button is covered by the buckle. And that's just a little... Uh, cumbersome to me. Maybe if I was really running and gunning a lot and like really having to move with this, maybe I would use it. But for the most part, I'll just stuff it in those pockets like we talked about. And then uh, just kind of give you some size perspective again. It's just really, you know, dispersing the load very nicely. Really like that a lot. Plenty of room to spare here on these as well. So if you are a longer, taller guy. But uh, as we go back here, the one thing that I would note is I wish they had compression straps right here on the pack that I could pull towards me, like some other packs that we've seen here on the channel 
just to kind of bring it in tight on my back because it does tend to being a wider pack with that beaver tail want to pull you back a little bit and that would have just helped disperse the weight um, even better. It still disperses its weight well, but that would have really kind of taken it up to the next level of having two compression straps to pull the pack up closer to your back and shoulders. But overall, a really good load bearing system and balances and carries the weight really well without digging into you anywhere on this pack. Also just wanted to show you the shoulder sling option that you could do if you wanted to with the pack using one of those as a stabilizer strap you wouldn't have to use it if you didn't want to but that definitely helps stabilize the pack and then rocks cross and then you can see there that the other arm is stored in the bladder and so this would give you the opportunity obviously to disengage it grab swing it over access maybe that ccw pouch you know whatever you would want get real quick access to it but particularly when i have it loaded out uh, it's pretty wide, pretty big pack, and is definitely gonna wear out that shoulder real fast if you are carrying it in the sling format, but it does give you that option for those of you looking to do that. All right, so I wanna show you the main compartment here on the pack. The first thing is that there are compression straps on either side, which help if it's not super packed out, you can really cinch it down tight and get the, you know, the bag much more compressed. So you would need to unclip those in order to open the full mouth of the bag. And you can see that the, bat, the zipper kind of runs at this angle, which means that it's not just gonna fall open and go spilling your contents everywhere, but still gives you a huge amount of access to what's inside your pack. So now that we're inside the pack here, just kind of give you an idea, very large compartment. I have my full-size medical kit in here. I got my gloves, got my huge survival kit, my saw bra gear. That's a great little um, addition. My sunglass case. And now that we got that kind of emptied, you can just see how big the mouth of this package is, in the, or this pack. And uh, one of the things I love that they did with the Adapt Pack and they brought it over to this pack are these two inside uh, bungee pockets that you can either put different gear, like again, my sunglass case could fit in there, or a full-size Nalgene. So your Nalgene isn't rolling around inside your pack. You can have it nice and you know up straight and kind of dis distribute the weight of that water a little bit better. On this back side, you got this huge strip of Velcro in this laptop pouch, very large. And I can't remember the size of laptop you could fit in there, but uh, I'll connotate that in right now um, as I'm speaking. But that would easily not only pad and keep secure, but also fit a full-size laptop or again, other type of gear that you would want to organize. Then if we flip the pack around, we have two other pockets. So again, I'm really glad that they put a lot more organization in this pack and have kind of upgraded. And that was one of my complaints. One of the very few complaints I had with the Adapt Pack is there wasn't a lot of organization. They fixed that. Uh, they have a really nice mesh pocket here. I got my paracord. I got a full fire kit in there. You could throw all sorts of different stuff, your wallet, your keys, different things like that. I'm really glad that they added that. That's a huge plus, And that's what I'm always looking for in my packs. Then below that, there's just a dump sleeve right there. I could, again, maybe throw my rain cover in there for the pack or something like that. So again, lots of organization inside the main compartment of the pack. Well, folks, it's time for us to wrap up this review for you on the Boss Beaver and give you my final thoughts on this pack. Uh, well, as you've seen throughout this whole review, I think that Millspec Monkey has done a great job really reorganizing that whole idea of the pack, giving a ton of organization throughout this whole pack. So that alone is huge and a really big deal to me because I'm always looking to organize my packs. I got lots of gear and that's a big plus. So I'm really digging that a lot. And the, the quality durability is fantastic. It really comes down for you guys whether or not you like the beaver tail idea. If you think that that's gonna really be applicable to what you're doing in your systems, um, you know, regardless if you're in the military or you're using a helmet a lot, or you just like that idea of that collapsible tail moving back and forth so you can carry different sized gear and a lot more than the capacity of the bag could without it, well then I think this is a fantastic pack. If you don't really see the value in that beaver tail, there's plenty of other stuff that not only Millspec Monkey makes, Tactical Tailor makes, and lots of other companies that will fit your knees probably um, a little bit better. So honestly, it comes down to that beaver tail. I really like the idea, uh, particularly for like we talked about, that survival bag, that bug out bag idea of being able to go get a bunch of stuff, expand it out, throw some stuff in there, and then when I don't need to carry extra stuff, I can collapse it down. So 
guys, that's kind of my overall um, thoughts on it. Uh, you know, are there anything that I would change? Really the only thing I would change because I'm a really big guy, I'm pretty tall, 6'2", is at 18 inches, it's a little compressed. It's short and kind of wide. I would have liked to see it maybe around 20 inches high. So maybe in the future, we'll see even a larger pack uh, with the same idea from Millspec Monkey. And uh, that would be really my only thing is I prefer packs that are about 20 inches high or more. Uh, but for everything that you're getting with this size of pack, I think it's fantastic. So my likability, guys, is five out of five. And uh, there's a lot of things going for this boss beaver bag so as always thank you so much for checking out the channel please subscribe comment like share this video and as always remember stay equipped stay prepared and we'll see you out there